Biz şu anda İsveç ve Finlandiya ile ilgili yani gelişmeleri takip ediyoruz ama olumlu bir düşünce içerisinde Şu anda İsveç ve Finlandiya ile ilgili yani gelişmeleri takip ediyoruz ama olumlu bir düşünce içerisinde değiliz. Çünkü daha önce Yunanistan'la ilgili NATO konusunda bir yanlış yaptılar bizden önceki yönetimler ve Yunanistan'ın Türkiye'ye karşı NATO'yu da arkasına alarak takındığı tavrı biliyorsunuz. Bu konuda ikinci bir yanlışı Türkiye olarak işlemek istemiyoruz. Kaldı ki Skandinav ülkeleri ne yazık ki terör örgütlerinin adeta misafirhanesi gibi. PKK'sı, DHKPC'si İsveç'te, Hollanda'da yuvalanmış durumdalar. <gülüyor> I have been in a regular contact with my Turkish colleague, Minister Savusoglu, during this spring. I have been visiting twice Turkey during the spring, and, and actually I have an opportunity to meet with my counterpart, probably also tomorrow in, in Berlin, and, and uh, then continue our our discussion. I think we, we need some patience in this type of processes, and, and uh, uh, it's it's not happening in, in one one day. This is all what I can say at the moment. Let's take issues step by step. Uh, you said yesterday that the United States would support Sweden and Finland's uh, application to NATO. Uh, Turkey is a current NATO member, and the president of Turkey is saying that they would not his country would not look positively on that. What is the U.S. reaction to that, and, and will the, the U.S. intervene on the Nordic countries' behalf? Yeah. Um, so we are working to clarify Turkey's position. Uh, we would refer you to the Turkish government for more information on their views. Um, I think there's no question, and you've seen this uh, from the public statements of a number of NATO leaders, that there is broad support from uh, NATO uh, member countries in Finland and Sweden's, uh, you know, desire or interest, stated interest in applying to join NATO. But we are continuing to work with Turkey, and I would point you to their representatives. Thank you.